Hey guys, it's finally here. The stuff I ordered from Greg Ross finally delivered and I'm super excited to try it on. Greg Ross is another Yeezy alumni and he's recently worked with Drake on his For All The Dogs tour and with Travis Scott styling for Utopia and the Circus Maximus tour as well. If you look at Greg Ross's collections, it's the closest to what Yeezy season was and I don't think Yeezy is releasing anything besides merch for his music anytime soon. The fall winter 2023 collection dropped back on September 15th for pre-order after Greg Ross was teasing the collection on Instagram for a better part of a year and it took over 3 months to get my stuff and finally delivered on December 26th which sucks but I'm just glad at this point that I have it and honestly the clothing is a lot better than expected so we'll get into what I bought. The first is the side stripe crew neck in this wash black color with Akira red stripe paneling down the sleeve. The star embroidery is Greg Ross's logo and I love that it's subtle and the same color as the sweatshirt. The cotton is actually super thick, even thicker than the hoodie I'm going to show next and it reminded me of the Yeezy Season 1 crew neck I used to have and loved. The collar, sleeves, and waist hem are all raw edge and especially at the waist you could see the edge rolling up. The collar is super wide and will show some skin if you want or you could wear a t-shirt underneath. When I bought this I was thinking that the shoulders would be padded and defined like in the original collection photos but it seems that Greg Ross had a hard time creating that look and gave up on it for this crew neck. The current look isn't bad though, I like the oversized crop look it gives. I got this in a size large and I think I recommend going true to size if you're interested. I've seen photos on Instagram of people sizing down on this crew neck and it doesn't look right to me the way the sweatshirt is fitting on some people. Like I mentioned, you could wear this and show some skin, but I personally prefer wearing a t-shirt underneath. It's the same for me as wearing nothing under a hoodie. I don't know how people do that. This is my favorite piece of the collection as the shoulder pad hoodie in Akira Red. Greg Ross calls the red color Akira Red in this collection and is definitely referencing the anime and the iconic color. The hoodie is in this super vibrant neon red and it actually comes with some light detachable shoulder pads. The pads are stored in this pouch inside with a button closure so if you didn't want to rock the pads one day, you could easily just take them out. The cotton itself is super light and the inside has almost this towel like texture, probably why Greg Ross named the bomber jacket in the collection the towel bomber jacket. You can see the star logo in the same Akira red on the sleeve, pretty discreet which again I really like. The waist hem and sleeve cuffs are loose so the hoodie naturally drapes. Besides the shoulders the hood is another interesting feature, it's small yet still fits over my head. When I wear it, it gives me a juggernaut type look and is something that was shown in the collection photos as well. Because the hood is small, you can see it also raises the hoodie around the shoulders and the upper back, giving it an interesting look. The hoodie is shorter in length with slightly longer sleeves and an oversized fit, but the color on camera is really stunning. I went with a size large in this as well and I do recommend going true to size. 